This is a demonstration of using directory report to find your duplicate files. The first step would to be select your criteria on how the duplicates will be found. You can to choose find duplicates based on the same size name of the file. CRC, which stands for cyclic redundancy checksum. Direct your report uses the CRC 32-bit algorithm, the same uh, CRC that's used by WinZip and WinRAR, or you can choose by CRC excluding MP3 tags because MP3 files have separate MP3 data and music data, and or by comparing the files byte by byte. The CRC method is the fastest but comparing the byte by byte is 100% accurate. Now because I'm using a 32-bit CRC algorithm it's over 99% accurate. But some people want to be 100% sure so you would pick comparing byte by byte. You can also still pick these other options. Other capabilities I recommend is to start searching for duplicate files after scanning your directories because finding duplicates there are two steps. The first step is just to scan your files and the second step is to search your duplicate files. Now some people like scanning the files and examining its output and then later they'll start a duplicate search but if you want to do one after the other I would set this option. You can also pick to only show duplicate files in all screens. Disable your screen saver while searching for duplicates. Or even playing a sound or a movie file when the search is finished. In case you're not actually staring directly at the screen while it's running. Now as you can see, directory report can also find duplicate directories. That's very powerful. We won't be uh, showing this in this demo though. So we've picked our options and we'll say OK. The next step is to pick your filters. You can say only show me files that have an HTML extension. You can actually give the whole file name as a file name filter. You can pick as many filters as you want. You can have a file name exclude filter file name version filters this is to speed up printing in directory report all screens can be printed to a printer or saved to a file and if you choose to print version information but most of your files are text files text files don't have version information so you can speed up that process and tell the program only look for version info say in DLL or EXE files the most important option is directory exclude filter you don't want to delete files that are necessary for your computer to operate and many times you'll say I want to skip the Windows directory and all its subdirectories. Now you can pick as many filters as you want. Directory report always says the last 16 filters because more than likely you'll be picking the same one over and over again. All you got to do is double click. You have size, date, and other filters. Here's your date filter created, access, modified date filter. Just select the button. Here's your date, the time. Your minimum size filter, maximum size filter. Your file attributes as a filter, whether the file is linked, has an NTFS stream, or any of its dates are zero, or any of its created date is greater than access or modified date. You can have a file owner filter when you're doing a scan of a network drive you might want to only show certain files that are owned by someone or exclude files that are owned by someone. If you choose this then only files which are duplicate to files in this list will be picked. Um, also you can have a duplicate directories filter if you only want to find duplicate files that are duplicate say to a CD you can pick this option 
All right. If we're done with our filters, the next step is to pick the actual directories we want to scan. So you click the binoculars button, and you can pick one or as many directories, subdirectories, or network disks or regular disks that you want. Directory report comes with a free 10-day trial program. The trial program is fully functional. There are no limitations. You can pick as many directories as you want. Now, directory report shows you the last 16 paths that you pick, because more than likely you'll be picking the same one over and over again. We'll add it. Once we click OK, it will start. Now it's looking for duplicate files. It finished scanning the files. And if you notice quickly, it shows CRC. That is an intermediate scan uh, step. The final step will always be scanning byte by byte because that's what we picked. But an intermediate CRC step helps it speed up the process. Now, um, the default initial sorting is by size descending because you want to see the most offending file first and the groups are color coded to help you uh, process them easy easily now if you did a network scan and you want to see who the owners are just click on that and see here we have the owner of the file now um, many times you might not be absolutely certain if the files are duplicates or not. You can select two files, do a binary compare. Here it says the files are identical. If they were different, it will tell you the byte in which they differ. Now, being these are text files, I can do an ASCII line by line dual compare. Directory report comes with its own ASCII line compare program. Here it says the files are the same. Now, if they were different, it would color the lines that are different to help you process it. Many people have their own favorite file compare program. And you can tell directory report, I want to use my own file compare program. Navigate to the executable path and any options. This is how it would run your program. Now, uh, a number one question is, is it safe to delete a file? Sometimes you're not sure. Directory Report has many ways to help you figure that out. You can select a file, right-click, say Display in Main Window. Here it shows that duplicate file, but now it shows all the other files that are in that directory that it's contained in. Sometimes this helps you determine whether it's safe to delete a file. You can also send that file to the Microsoft Explorer. And what it will do is it will run Explorer and it will highlight that file. And you can use Explorer to process your file. You can also select a file and show its properties. Here are the DLL properties, the version information. You can select any two files and look at their properties side by side. And this will also help you determine if it's safe to delete. Now, Directory Report never ever automatically deletes files. You have to select them yourself. But that can be uh, quite tedious if you have a long list of files to process. To help you out, Directory Report can pre select files in each duplicate group. You can pick the newest created file in each group or the newest modified file or oldest created file or oldest modified file or a, a file whose directory has a string in its name of the directory. Or these are the directories that our duplicate files were in. We can say I want to pick a file that is in this directory. We'll pick the newest created file. And now the newest created file in each group is pre-selected for you. Now if you don't like that, you can invert the selection in, of the groups. Or you can clear 
all the selected files. Now, what can you do with a deleted file? How do you get rid of it? Well, you can delete it to the recycle bin. That's the safest. Or permanently delete it. You can copy it somewhere or move it somewhere. If you select two or more files, you can create a link. What you do is you select the file you want to keep. All the other files will be replaced with a link. In Windows, that's called Create Hard Link. The only restriction is that uh, the link, the files must be on the same disk. You can't link across disks. What this will do is create multiple directory entries, but the contents of the file will only be on the disk one time. All right, now, Director Report allows you to uh, print every single screen to a printer or save it contents to a file. But there are many attributes that are recorded. There are the general file attributes, AVI attributes, MP3 attributes, MSI attributes, version information attributes, WAV file attributes. This is for when saving to an HTML file, you can replace the full path to the file by a hyperlink. We'll go to the general tab. We'll clear all the attributes selected in all the tabs, and I only want to save the size and the created date. Okay. Save to a file. Click the, flop, click the floppy disk. You can save to a text file or save the text directly to the clipboard. Save it to a CSV file, which Excel can process. What this will do is we'll save the contents to a temporary CSV file and then automatically start Excel for you on that file. Save it to an HTML file or an XML file. So here we'll pick Excel. Yes, I want to replace it. And now we can run Excel on that file we just picked. And here is the Excel output. Now, if you're not sure what this picture is, you can always double click it and it will run the associated program that you have for, say, this JPEG file. And this, this will, in my instance, it will run MS Paint on this JPEG file. It's just dark any second now. There we go. Any questions? You can always email me at webmaster at fileutilities.com or go to the website. There are many other features of the program. This website will fully explain them. And that's the end of our demonstration.